Hi, I'm Warren Cardinal, founder of Lucid Crew in Austin, Texas. I'm going to show you an easy way to integrate a blog into your existing website. So let's say that we just uh, added a blog to Cafe Townsend's site, which we've had for a long time. The traditional way to add the blog would just be to link in the menu to the blog. So that's what we've done so far. But what we want to do is we want to create a situation where the blog is actually integrated in with the site. So we can put links to current blog posts on the sidebar, or if we want to fill in this area here, we can put the links to the blog into our content area and create some, some nice uh, content for our visitors. The way that we're going to do this is a very simple way. It's not a great way to do it for uh, search engine purposes because it uses JavaScript, but if you're only concerned about uh, having your viewers be able to easily access your blog posts, then you can uh, do it this way. The two things that we're going to need are the Google Ajax Feed API. You'll need a key that is exclusive to your site that you'll get here. Once you uh, go through this process, it will generate a unique key for you that, that uh, I'll show you where to paste this in later. The other thing that we're going to use is a Google Feed uh, plugin from jQuery. And so we're going to use this code here into our, and copy it into our website. This is our website in Dreamweaver. And first thing we're going to do is to enter it into the body. So I like to put some X's so that I can see where I am. If I go into the code, this is where I'm going to have my blog go. So the first thing I'm going to do is to paste this JavaScript into the top, which I've already done here. You want to put it in the header where you see other JavaScript and your styles right below the title is a good place to do it. So I've uh, pasted in this code, I've put my key in, and that part is ready to go. Now I want to go back down to where my X's are, create some breaks here, and when you read the code of the plugin, you'll find that we'll create a little div called feeds that we want to put our feed in. And the way to find uh, the link to your feed is to go to your site. And in Firefox, you'll see a little RSS feed link right up here. And if you click that to subscribe, you'll see this is the RSS feed. So you would copy this and put it into the code as a, as a link. So I put our blog here. And I'm going to link that to my RSS feed. But for this purpose here, I'm going to use a blog that already has a lot of posts. So we're going to use this All Recipes feed. So now if I save this, I'm going to have the blog posts right below my page, like this. And if I want to move it into the sidebar instead of this blog thing right here, I would take the code, cut it out of there, and replace this link with that. You can see the code appears there. Once we do that, then we'll get this result. So it's a little, just a little nicer way to display your um, blog posts uh, and integrate them into an existing site. 
To download all of the links and resources I used in this tutorial, please visit lucidcrew.com slash ehow. This is Warren Cardinal with Lucid Crew.